you know, it's, it's, it's nice to have validation sometimes. I knew this article was going to be coming out sooner or later because, like I said, somebody's been following my page for a long time and I keep seeing news articles about things that I bring up because, you know, I, I have nothing better to do than to think about things to talk about and some people can't think about things to talk about, so I'm a good resource for that. Um, so... Religious or spiritual people often believe in a heaven or afterlife. Some believe that nothing happens to us, we just die. Others, however, believe that our souls live on after we die. Now, the term souls, I've, I, there are certain words that, you can, that we can relate to, so we'll use that term. A, a couple of researchers, wow. A couple of researchers. So this shows you either this was written by AI or just somebody, just a beginner. You don't talk about a Nobel Prize winning author and, and physicist uh, as a couple of researchers. And Hammeroff has been doing this since the early 80s when I started following him. Wow. A couple of researchers. The soul doesn't die when our bodies do. After extensive research, two experts, they're talking about Hammeroff and Penrose, are saying that while our bodies die, our consciousness or our soul lives on forever. Quantum mechanics, they say, makes this possible. Quantum mechanics is a science dealing with the behavior of matter, atomic, subatomic particles. It accounts for properties, molecules, atoms, da da da, neurons, electrons, protons, quarks, gluons. We're not interested in that. Scientist Stuart Hammeroff and Sir Roger Penrose, a couple of researchers, uh, say consciousness is simple information stored at the quantum level. Orchestrated, objective, reduction. I guess that's what they're calling it, is orchestrated, objective, reduction. The pairs say that this storage process is orchestrated, objective, reduction. That is via a structure component of human cells, protein-based microtubules. Protein-based microtubules that carry quantum information. This is what I've been saying for 15 years that I've been doing these videos for my near-death experience, just telling people, this is what I've always known. This is what I was shown. And now, sooner or later, here, we, here it is. Because when Hammeroff, when I read Hammeroff's first work about microtubules, I went, that's it. That's exactly, that's exactly what they meant. Because I asked the how. And I was given an answer that I wasn't allowed to remember. And I knew instinctively, as soon as I read Hammeroff's work, that was it. So this is via a, a structural component of human cells, protein-based microtubules that carry quantum information. Let's say the heart stops beating and the blood stops flowing. The microtubules lose their quantum state, explains Dr. Hammeroff. The quantum information within the microtubules is not destroyed. It, it, it can't be destroyed because information is permanent. And it just distributes and dissipates to the universe at large, he says. This is why I would like to have a talk with him because I don't believe that's the case. He says that the person is resuscitated when the information that goes back into the microtubules, the person becomes conscious again. So you can transfer into and out of your microtubule system, which is why I'm saying that if you leave your body, you stay corporeal. You do not dissipate. You, 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 you phase transition to another material in this other dimension. And that you can phase transition right straight back into your microtubule system if you decide to come back. Our physical universe is just our perception. Researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Physics in Munich say that there is an infinite, inf infinite beyond after death. According to them, the world we live in is just our perception and that our souls go into this infinite beyond when our bodies die. So we're talking about people who win Nobel Prizes and the Max Planck Institute. This is just not me for 15 years telling you this exact thing. That it's important the information you leave is fucking permanent.
What we consider the here and now, this world, it is actually just the material level that is comprehensible, says Dr. Hans Peter Durr from the Institute. This beyond, or the beyond, is an infinite reality that is much bigger. Hameroff and Penrose's research shows that consciousness comes from deeper level microtubule vibrations. This is the microtubulin. The microtubulin, the little pieces that make up the microtubule structures. When you cut a microtubule in half and lay it open, it looks just like digital information. Exactly like digital information. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes, no, 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 yes, no. See, this is the... <laughs> This is what I've been trying to get people to read about for a very long time, is Hameroff and Penrose's work on microtubules. This was, this was the, the do-all, be-all, say-all, pinnacle, you know what I mean? This, this, this was it for me because I understood when I read Hameroff's work in the late 80s that that was it. I just knew that was it right there. And I stuck with that the entire time. And when I saw that Sir Roger Penrose, who's been looking for answers to questions he has. Yeah. And, you know, I've seen Dr. Penrose get this fucking close to talking about life after death and stops himself because he's, he's continually led to this conclusion that this information is permanent, it stays corporeal, and it moves to this, this next this phase transition to a new material, a quantum material that stays corporeal. And it's you. It's everything that ever was you. It's everything about you. It's everything that made your personality you. It's every experience and interaction you ever had. It's, it's everything that you created before this existence. What came before, I believe, is more real than this one. Here, that when, when, when the, before the Big Bang, when the universe was created, when the information contained in the universe was created, not the material, when that information was created, we did it. They told me, you were Laren before, and they wouldn't show me that. You are Laren now, and they showed me that I'm here with the beings, and you will be Laren then, and they showed me on my day, on my death. They showed me commit suicide. Laren, Laren, Laren. But now, like I said, the last, you know, the last 15 years has been a mystery. The last 16, 17 years, when I went down, when, when I crossed that bridge, it was, everything else from that point on has been a mystery. And... I've just been waiting for these articles to start mainstream publication so that people can go, you know, I've been listening to Laren talk about microtubules and death and the soul and information and leave good information and being responsible for your actions and that there is a God. There, there is a God, a soul intelligence so vast and so complete that it can't it can it there's no way it could be contemplated by a human being it would be like trying to explain your iphone to an amoeba in a petri dish where would you start how would first you'd have to develop some form of communication then you'd have to explain to it about you know how, how microcircuitry and plastics and you know what i mean there's just, it's, it's so far out of the realm of possibility as to be absurd. That's what it's like for us to contemplate God, okay? It really is. This, this maniac, whoever the hell he is that man's created in the Bible to control other men, that's, we all know that that's not the kind of God that would have a beautiful, perfect universe, right? Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many fucking problems. This universe is created to make us individuals, us. 
sentient beings, sentient individual souls. That's what it was. That's what it does. That's what it creates. It 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 goes from an informational state to this physical state back to an informational state, and that's what makes it permanent. So we have to go through this. And at any time you want, you can decide to be a better person. You can try harder to be a better person. It's, it's just trying to be better, trying to help other people more, trying to be more honest, trying to, you know, keep your deals, keep your word, have honor, you know? It's important. So this article... Uh, I don't even know where I don't I don't think I have the original article. Uh, let me see. No. I just cut it out really quickly and kept some notes. Uh, no. There's not even any good references that I would tell you to go look at other than discovery of quantum vibrations in microtubules inside brain neurons suggests controversial theory of consciousness, daily science. The microtubule system it was always looked at as some sort of scaffolding, is what they called it. And it goes through this mitochore, it goes through this little organ, okay, that's in our chromosome. Before the chromosome splits, you have to remember the fucking microtubules are not, they do not split. They don't replicate like that. They're manufactured there. It's, they're broken down on this side and new ones are manufactured on this side of that organ. It's been studied for 100 years. They still have no fucking idea what it does, but they know that it does something with the microtubules. Go to Weehigh and there's a video there about the manufacture of DNA and watch that, okay? W-E-H-I videos. They're medical videos. And there's one about the manufacture of DNA. And it will explain a lot more uh, to you. Look at the, it actually talks about microtubules and the little machines that walk up and down the microtubule system carrying vital information. Um, I think you'll find it interesting. <laughs> 